breweries opened and people wanted to carry more and more beer. And that led to, you can't fit it all right underneath the counter. So the kegs went to the back of the house and people would push beer out to where they're serving at rather than store the kegs out front. Education is an important thing. So I definitely see as more people come on board and go, oh, a cylinder of gas is dangerous. This thing makes its own locally sourced gas. Uh, there's a lot of potential for growth. The blending gas has solved that issue. Uh, that wasn't us that invented that, but uh, we definitely have made use of it and educate people, bar owners, brewers, uh, about how to blend gases and how to preserve that keg quality, uh, all the way to the cup. In fact, uh, from gas to glass is one of our slogans, and that is from the air supply all the way to the cup. We were some of the um, maybe handful of experts around the nation that really understood blended gas. And so um, when Jesse developed the, the on-site nitrogen supply, what we call a nitrogen separator, pulling nitrogen from the air, um, that was the answer to um, applying blended gas um, to all these businesses. I wanted to start a company that had an environmental aspect to it. Uh, being from this area, Pacific Northwest, uh, it's important to me part of my value set, and that I just happened to come across an idea that would do that, but also maybe provide my family and my friend Tom with a, a decent work life and a fun environment. It's beer. <laughs> Who doesn't like beer, right? I got into draft systems, and then when Jesse built the um, last piece that draft systems were looking for, I was all in. How many machines were building and shipping out? I think when I started three and a half years ago, we were at unit number eight hundred ish and now we're almost to nineteen hundred so eleven hundred units in three and a half years has I mean if you look at that versus the what nine years prior they got to eight hundred so the growth has really gone up exponentially yeah I mean the concept of pouring the perfect beer um, that's innovative to me that's that's the perfect uh, product so the only hiccup he's having is uh, keeping up with the demand and, and, and supply, supplying uh, bars and, and um, pubs across the country with, with their products. So, um, it's just growing um, by leaps and bounds. Because he's very inquisitive and he just knows, he knows something about everything. So I would think, I just thought the sky is the limit with Tom. Everybody just treats one another with respect and um, our opinions are valued. Uh, it's, it's a place, it's, it's uh, a workplace of collaboration. We do a lot of fun things to build morale, like we go go-kart racing or the guys have boats so they split us up into boats and take us out for a day on the water and it doesn't feel like hanging out for hanging out with your bosses. They're not stiffs, so. <laughs> perfect person to bank, perfect business to bank. Yeah. Just a great guy, all around guy, yeah. Uh, in terms of leadership, um, his mission in life is to make the perfect brew or the perfect pour of beer for the community and the world, so um, what better form of servant leadership is there than that? <laughs> <laughs>